PE class, في حصة ال PE, a group of students decided to challenge each other to penalty kicks. If we know that Khaled scored seven penalties out of ten kicks, and I asked you, سألتك to express the number of goals Khaled scored in a decimal. I am sure, أنا متأكدة إن أنتوا هتعملوها in a very easy way. You will say that the fraction will be seven tenths. Why? That's because we learned in the previous lessons how to write the tenth as a fraction and represent them using the models as well. But if the total goals that the group of students scored were 85 out of 100 kicks, can you express that total in a decimal? Hello, my dear students of 4th primary in lesson 2 of unit 10, titled The Powerful 10. هنتعلم النهاردة how to represent the tenths using visual models. But let's first تعالوا الأول نراجع كل اللي احنا تعلمناه in the previous lessons in access part. Here I have, look, here I have one kilogram of rice and ten cups. As you see here, I have ten cups and one kilogram of rice. If I wanted, لو عايز أحط the amount of rice اللي عندي equally among these ten cups. What is the fraction in the decimal representing one cup only? One cup. So let's use a model to express the fraction representing the cup. Let's see the model all together. Okay, and as you see here, the model in front of us, the model divided into 10 squares. Okay. Okay, here I have 10 squares. This representing the 10 cups. I can call the square one cup. We will shade only one part. So the fraction represents the shaded part is what? Let's shade the first part. So the fraction representing this part is what? Yes, it is 1 over 10. Next step, 1 over 10 kilograms. Shana Aslan Andi 1 kilogram. Waiza wa zahum ala 10 cups. So if I shade 1 cup, so the, the answer or the fraction will be 1 over 10 kilograms. Like if I want to write this fraction as a decimal, I will write it as 0 0.1 kilograms. Okay, a 1 over 10 as a fraction and 0 0.1 as a decimal. All right, now can you find out how many grams of rice are in one cup? Now when I ask about how many grams I have, we know that uh, one kilogram equals what? Yes, one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. Right? Okay. So because we divided the kilo into 10 cups and I sent the kilo to 10 cups. يبقى كني بعمل إيه؟ كني بعمل divide the thousand divided by 10. كني بعمل 1000 divided by 10. So one cup equals what? Yes, 1000 divided 10. So one cup equals 100 gram. Okay. طب ده معناه إيه؟ ده معناه إن ال 1000 gram Divided by 10 gives me 100 gram per cup. كمان هقول تاني إن 1 over 10 to the same as 0.1 kilogram, the same as 100 grams. All of these are equal amount. So, now what if I we want to find the amount in 3 cups? لو عايز أشوف بقى 3 cups فيهم قد إيه. Type 3 cups, يعني I will shade 3 squares. 1, 2, and 3. Right? And the fraction will be what over what? Yes, 3 squares shaded. يعني fraction بتاعي 3 over 10 kilograms. Right? Type, if I want to write this as a decimal, يبقى أنا عندي 3 parts, يبقى 0 0.3 kilograms. Okay? Type, يبقى amount in the cups will be how many grams? Yes? will be 300 grams. So, 3 over 10 kilogram equals 0 0.3 kilograms equals to 300 grams. This example in the bar model we draw has a quite a way to answer the activity how much rice in access on page 68. access my bar. Here is in the access part. Okay. It is telling me that Farid Wahela Amir went to the store to buy groceries عشان يشتروا حاجات for their mom. When they came back home, Farid قال لمامته إن he had bought هو اشترى eight over ten kilograms. 
8 over 10 kilogram. طيب وهالا said to her mom that when she weighted the rice لما وزنت الرايس اللي هي اشتريته طلع 0.8 kilograms. Okay. طيب what about Amir? Amir لما رجع الهوم he told his mom that he had yes he had bought 800 grams. تعالوا بقى نشوف of rice. تعالوا نشوف. Now can you tell me تقدروا تقولوا لي which one of them bought the most rice? مين جاب أكبر كمية من الرايس؟ And how do you know this? I will give you now some time to think of the answers and then we will review it all together. After you have finished, هوريكو بقى الانسر of one of my students. One of my students told me that they all had the same amount. كلهم عندهم نفس الامانت. When we divide the fatwin, when we divide the back of the rice onto ten cups, لما قسمنا الرايس على ten cups, can each cup فيها كم? Can each cup فيها one hundred grams, right? Can each cup فيها one hundred grams? So, the eight cups have a few kilogram grams. Excellent. The eight cups have a few. 800 grams, right? طيب, and that's the number Amir said he bought. وهو ده الأمير قال he bought 800 grams, like you see here. Okay, it is the same amount as eight cups when we write them as a fraction, which will be eight over ten kilograms, right? We did fraction that Farid said. يبقى إحنا اتفقنا إن 800 Grams, هي نفسها equals to eight over ten kilograms, and also it is equivalent to the decimal, which is zero point eight kilograms. Just like Hala said, so they all have the same amount. يبقى eight hundred grams equals eight over ten kilograms equals to zero point eight kilograms. And that explains w what the halina how fractions and decimals are related to each other. We will learn more about this in our lesson today. But first, let me ask you a question. I just ask you a What do you think the fraction representing each cup would be if we divided the kilo gram of rice we used into hundred cups? لو أسمنا بقى الرايس على hundred cups بدل ما نقسمه على ten. That's very easy. I know. We know that the numerator is the part we want to find, and the denominator is the total number of squares. So the fraction will be what? Yes, لو أسنيها على hundred, the fraction هيبقى one over one hundred. All right. Let's represent this in a model. Here we will draw a square, like you see here. Okay. We will draw a square representing the whole bag of rice. هنعتبر ال square ده ال bag of rice بتاعي. وهقسم السكوير ده into ten rows like you see here one two three if I count them I will see ten rows and ten columns okay so here I have one hundred small squares representing one hundred cups the hundred squares دول هعتبرهم الكابس بتوعي وبنسمي السكوير ده hundredth grid model لي because it is divided into one hundred squares. Then I will shade one part only out of 100. Okay, تعال نشوف كده مع بعض. I will shade one part only. So of course we can shade one part. ممكن نلون the first part, second part, or any part. لأن كل ال parts are equal to each other. So we can express that by using fraction one over 100. أنا كده عمل عمل shaded the one shade the one part only out of 100. In the previous lesson, في الدرس اللي فات, we learned about fractions with a denominator of ten or its multiples. We could write them as decimal fractions. I am sure, أنا متأكدة كويس أوي إن the question you have on your mind, كلنا بنفكر في نفس the question اللي هو إيه? How can we write one over one hundred as a decimal? زي هكتب one over hundred زي as a decimal. Yes, the fraction one over ten. ولما اجي اكتب 1 over 10 as a decimal كنت بكتبها ازاي؟ تعالوا نشوف كده 
1 over 10 equals 0 0.1, right? The decimal point D, it separates the part اللي هي whole number اللي قبل the decimal point و the decimal part اللي بعد the decimal point. طيب يعني إيه لما يكون عندي zero before the decimal point؟ ده معناه إن أنا ما عنديش أي whole numbers. But the fraction 1 over 100 لما أجي أكتبها as a decimal fraction هكتبها إزاي؟ Yes تعالوا نشوف كده يبقى 1 over 100 equals 0.01 I can read it as 100 -thirds. 100 -thirds. Okay Now in the same way بنفس الطريقة If I shade 6 squares of the grid model لو عملت shading كده على 6 squares Like you see here what will be the decimal fraction representing these squares? They had to be squares D in as a decimal. Yes, مش أنا عندي six squares out of hundred. يبقى ممكن نكتبها six hundredths. هكتبها بالدسمل زي zero point zero six. And this is what I say six hundredths. طب تعالوا كمان let's shade another three squares. Look like this. What will be the decimal now? هكتب الديسيمال ازاي؟ طب كاونت كده ذا سكويرز، إف يو كاونت ذا سكويرز هلاقي إن أنا أي شيدد 9 بارتس أوت أوف 100، اسمها 900ز، سو أي ويل رايت إت 0.09 ويتش أي كان ريد إت أز 900ز، أوكي؟ ناو ذا هول إف أي كولر أور شيدد ذا هول جريد، إكسبت 1 بارت أونلي، زي ما إحنا شايفين كده، ناو أي كولر أول ذا جريد إكسبت 1 بارت أونلي. طيب how many squares will be there? مش كل الجريد أصلا 100 طب أنا لو وينت كله إلا one part so I have 99 out of 100 أو 9900 تز هكتب 9900 تز إزاي as a decimal yes 9900 تز يعني 0.9900 تز okay can you see how many squares are left in the last grid model to complete it? هو فاضل كام سكوير ليفت؟ Yes of course only one طب one ولا one hundredths one hundredths so I need one hundredths اللي هي zero point zero one to complete the whole shape or the whole grid ده معناه إن zero point ninety nine plus zero point zero one أو ninety nine hundredths plus one hundredths equals to the whole one now we can apply, ممكن بقى نطبق كل ده in the activity more cups of rice in build part on page 68. But now I'll give you some time to answer and then we'll review the answers all together. And now after we have finished, let's review the answers all together. In the first grid, let's see. Here in the first grid, the first column is fully shaded. Yani if first column fully shaded, yani I have 10 squares. Look here, I have 10 squares. We came in three squares of the next column. So the total is how many? 13 hundredths. In 13 squares out of hundredths are shaded. If a decimal fraction, how can I represent this decimal fraction? I said 13 hundredths, if I can write it as 0 0.13. It is called 13 hundredths. Now let's look at the second grid. Here we have four columns shaded. Look, one, two, three, and four, right? Now if I four columns shaded, I have 40 squares. We come in six squares like you see here. So the total shaded parts are 46 out of 100, yani 46 hundredths. How can I write it as a decimal fraction? Yes, 46 hundredths, give a 0 0.46. I can read it as 46 hundredths. Let's see problem number four. Here in problem number four, as you see, we have got a completely shaded grid. And the grid camel. Yes, problem four, grid camel shaded. And this is considering as one whole. Now let's the second grid. There are three hundredths shaded, like you see here, three parts out of a hundred. 
Yeah, but how can I write the decimal fraction represent this? Yes, one whole, yani one whole before the decimal point. After the decimal point, I have three hundredths. Yeah, I can write 0 0.30, right? Now we will move on to the second group of questions found on the same page, page 69. We have the decimal fraction and we are asked مطلوب مننا to shade the grids according to the fractions next to them. يعني انا هشوف الفراكشن وهعمل shading للparts. I give you now some time to answer problems 6 and 7, then we will review together all the answers. After you have finished, let's review the answers all together. Talu kida nshuf in problem number six, as you see here, the written decimal fraction is the 0.72. Yeah, but how many parts should I shade? Yes, we will shade 72 hundredths. 72, yani one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two hundredths, right? Okay. Now let's look at problem number seven. Problem number seven, the written decimal fraction is 0.06. So I will shade how many parts? Yes, 0.06, it is called six hundredths. So I will only shade six squares out of hundredths. Let's move to problem number eight. Problem number eight, the written fraction is, uh, the written decimal is uh, 1.28. So, one يعني إيه before the decimal point, اتفقنا ان ده الهول number. So, the first I will shade the whole grid here, because this represent the whole one. And I will shade 28 hundredths. So, I will shade 28, two columns and eight squares, like you see here two columns and eight uh, squares. Okay, now that means uh, two whole columns and eight squares like you see here. 28, uh, this is 10, uh, 20, and here eight uh, squares. Now, let's head to problem number nine. Let's see problem number nine. Problem number nine says that uh, Basim had uh, a quilt, uh, quilt يعني الحيف, made of three colors, red, blue, and yellow. The red represents 0.4 of the quilt, and the blue represents 0.35. مطلوب مننا to find the decimal representing the yellow color in the quilt. Okay, now let's solve the problem all together by representing it in the grid here. هنعمل بقى problem represent it in the grid. أول حاجة ال red represent what? 0.4 of the quilt. طيب ده معناه إيه؟ ده معناه 4 tenths. 0.4 يعني 4 tenths. So the red represents 4 columns of 10. يبقى أنا هعمل كده coloring in red 4 columns. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay? طيب. Now, then we will continue shading the blue part. تعالوا كده بقى نلون ال blue part اللي عندي في الكولت. It is representing 35 hundredths. يعني 35 out of 100. ده معناه ايه? 35. يعني 3 columns. تعالوا كده نلون 3 columns in blue. 1, 2, and 3. Okay, three columns, يعني 30, but it is 35, يبقى كمان هلون five squares. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, to represent 35 hundredths. طيب دلوقتي the part which is not shaded in the grid, هو ده representing the yellow color of the quilt. تعالوا كده نشوف ال yellow color. طيب شايفين what is remaining parts? Yes, one, two, and half, يعني five squares, which means that I have 25 hundredths, أو 0 0.25 hundredths. وهو ده decimal fraction representing the yellow color. Okay, 
this is so I put here 0 0.25 because he's asking me what decimal of basins filled with was yellow okay after solving problem number 10 and after answering and representing the hundreds in the past examples تعالوا كده نفكر of what our friend Adil says in the activity groups of hundreds in connect part on page 70 تعالوا كده نشوف مع بعض okay now Let's see the connect part here, which we will know that Aisha colored 30 uh, squares, or the equivalent of 30 hundredths. We, when Aidil saw, when Aidil saw the coloring of Aisha, that she had colored 3 tenths or 0.3. طب هو الكلام اللي عادل بيقوله ده صح؟ وعرفتوا ازاي ان هو صح او غلط؟ And now I'll give you some time to think. And you can use the models drawn in your school book to represent and check your answers. Now, after you have finished, let's represent it in the drawn models. When we when we represent 30 hundredths like Aisha, we will find that we need to color what? 30, yani three columns, because each column has 10 squares. Tal kidan lawun, 30 squares, yani three columns, like you see here. Okay? Tight. When we represent the three tenths Adil was talking about, if a bordu, I will sheet how many columns? Yes, three columns, yani I will shade one, two, three, right? Okay, because Adil divided his grid into ten columns like you see here. From that, we understand fahimna e. Fahimna in 0 0.3, or smaha three tenths, is equal to 0 0.30 hundredths, right? Ten. The money in three tenths is equals to thirty hundredths. And now you can head to the practice part and check your understanding by scanning the code found at the start of the lesson on page sixty-eight or the one shown on the screen, which will direct you to the digital copy of your math textbook on the Egyptian Knowledge Bank. Here in problem number six, as you see here. Problem number six, we have a tenth grid that I has used to try to represent 1.06, like you see here. But I have a mistake, I have a mistake. I to represent the number on the model in front of us. Let's represent together. And of course, we will represent the one hole by shading the whole grid, right? Then we will shade six squares. So I will represent 1.06 as a one hole and six squares of the second one. One, two, three, four, five, six, like you see here. Right? Type. Problem number seven bits elni in. Bits elni in nana aiza ahadid il ghalat il aiza amalu. The mistake he made was very clear to us when answering. Il hagel hua amal ha ghalat. In how he represented the six hundredths, amal ha e sixty hundredths or six tenths. He is in mistake. He will amal ha, right? Okay. If he represent the six hundredths, this is six hundredths, like you see here. So he represents it at six tenths, which is wrong. Okay. Right. Now we are done with today's lesson. And we learned Talin and Nahard how to represent the hundredths using the visual models. See you next lesson. Thank you for your watching. See you soon.